Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on vector in motion. Today we are going to learn analysis of frames and we are going to solve a couple of simple problems. So the first question is what is a frame? A frame is a structure that is designed to support loads and is usually stationary. So here is an example of a frame. This is a simple crane which supports load W here and is stationary. The second question is how do we make distinction between frame and a truss? Truss as you know comprises of two force members. All the members in a truss are two force members but that is not the case in frames. In frames at least one member has to be a multi force member. So in this example the member A, B, C, D is a multi force member because forces are exerted at four points of this member at point A, at point B, at point C and D as well. The member C, E, F is also a multi force member because forces are exerted on this member at three points points C, E, and F. However, member B, E is a two force member because forces are exerted only at two points B and E of this member. So this structure is a frame because there are two members which are multi force members. So we are going to solve this problem and here we have to find the force, the internal force in member GH which is called a brace and is a two force member. So taking this example I will explain to you step by step procedure of analyzing a frame and identifying internal forces in some members. Here force F1 is of 2 kilo newtons. This is 2 kilo newtons. And F2 is 3 kilo newtons. The first step is to draw FBD of the entire frame and figure out the reactions at the supports. This is how the FBD looks like. The two force components AY and AX replace the pin support here at point A and the roller support at D is replaced by the vertical force DY. And the first task is to determine the values of these three forces. So we have three equilibrium equations. Sigma Fx equal to 0 gives Ax equal to 0. You can see here there are no horizontal forces. So Ax has to be 0. Next we take moment of all the forces about point A. So these two forces get eliminated. Even this force will get eliminated because this is vertical at point C and C is right above point A and therefore F1 passes through point A. So only forces dy and F2 contribute to moment about point A. The moment arm for F2 as well as dy is 2 meters. dy causes anti-clockwise moment and F2 causes clockwise moment about point A. So we have this equation and that gives dy equal to 3 kilonewtons. Next we use sigma Fy equal to 0 and that gives us Ay equal to 2 kilonewtons. So this is 2 kilonewtons, dy is 3 kilonewtons and Ax is 0. Now the next step is to dismember the entire frame and draw FBDs of all the members. So we have dismembered the frame and drawn FBD of first the two force member followed by the multi force member A, G, E, B. Why we haven't drawn the FBD of this member C, D? I'll explain that in a moment. So while drawing the FBD, we have to take care of a few important points and these are as follows. Apply 
equal and opposite forces to each two force member at the points where it is connected to another member so this member is connected to other members at point g and h so we have to apply the forces which are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and as you know two force member when it is in equilibrium can sustain only axial forces so the forces at points g and h are along the axis of this member do we know whether the member is in tension or compression well the problem states that the member is in tension that means the forces at g and h would be acting away from the member in this direction and not in the opposite direction not in this direction the forces would be in this direction when the member is in compression but that is not the case here it is in tension so the forces will have to be necessarily acting away from the member even if the problem does not state explicitly whether the member is in tension or compression you can assume that the member is in tension and show the forces in this direction and if the result comes out to be negative then that would indicate that the assumption is incorrect and in fact the member is in compression another point to be taken care of is that you should give the same name to both these forces if we give gx as the name to this force here also this force at h should be named as gx not hx because we do not want to unnecessarily increase the number of variables and we know that this force has the same magnitude as this force this is the basic property of a two force member so whatever is the name we give to this force the same name has to be given to this force and another point to be kept in mind is if you call this as gx never call this minus gx that is don't write like this minus gx here and gx here this is incorrect unnecessarily you would be adding to confusion okay next we consider the fbd of the member ab so in this fbd we have to show all the forces the applied loads the reaction forces and the internal forces at the connections note that at point g where member gh is connected i have shown a force gx the direction of this force would be opposite to the direction of this force because these two form the action reaction pair as per newton's third law and also notice that i have given the same name gx do not ever give a different name you will be unnecessarily increasing the number of variables these two are the reaction forces at the support which we have already found out to be 0 and 2 kN this is the applied force which is of 3 kN magnitude and notice at point e the two multi force members are connected to each other they are pin connected so here the force exerted by member cd on the member ab will be in certain direction which is not known so that force is represented by two of its components in horizontal and vertical direction ex and ey so this completes the fbd of this member now you may ask why we haven't drawn fbd of the member cd the reason is that here in this fbd there are only three unknowns ex ey and gx so we have three unknowns and we have three equations of equilibrium for this member so we shall be able to solve the three unknowns 
and therefore we do not need a bd of any other member okay but just in case we draw a bd of the member cd this is cd at point e i will show the forces in opposite direction this should be ex and this would be ey pointing downwards note that i have given the same names ex and ey to these two forces of course at this point also there would be a force this is point h here the force on member gh is in this direction so it will be in opposite direction so this will be the force gx same name as this but having opposite direction and at point d there will be a reaction dy so this is the abd of member cd i have drawn it just to explain that at point e where two members two multi force members are interconnected through a pin the forces acting on member ab are same as the forces acting on the member cd they have the same magnitude but opposite direction of course in this particular problem we do not need the abd of this member but this is just for the purpose of explaining to you because in some problem some other problem you may need to draw a bd of two multi force members interconnected to each other okay so now we can write the equilibrium equations and we choose to write moment equation about point e so sigma me equal to 0 would yield ay into 1 1 meter is the this horizontal distance between point a and e and this moment would be in clockwise direction therefore we have minus ay times 1 gx will have a counter clockwise moment and this distance is 0.5 meters so we have gx times 0.5 and f2 again will have a clockwise moment and the horizontal distance between e and line of action of f2 is 1 meter so minus f2 times 1 and this expression will give us gx as 10 kN and since this is positive it means it is in tension so this is the answer the problem does not ask us to find forces ex and ey therefore we need not use the remaining patients and we have already got the answer here if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and thanks for watching and see you next time